All right, everyone, welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Kim. And it's day two of our look at crazy fans, or as the title says, extreme fans on the internet. You might might know someone like this, someone who loves that singer or that actor, or that that group of singers, that you know that music group, and they love them so much they kind of live for them. They think about them all the time. They get really happy when the group does something. Really upset if someone says, "I don't like that group." Oh, that makes them crazy, almost to an unhealthy level, right? I would kind say of an so. Extreme yes. thing to do, and of course, because the internet, people can do this 24 hours a day. They can find thousands of other people out there around the world who love this group as much as them. So the behavior can kind of go a little too far. Yes. Now、right. I'm sure we've both been fans of actors,、sure. singers, bands. Yes. So what would you say is the most extreme thing you've done to see your favorite singer or band or actor or whatever? I guess the thing, the thing that's different is it was never about the people in the band.、Mm -hmm. Like I never wanted to go to their house or. Talk to them, but you know, I mean, there were a few groups when I was a kid. We would sleep out at night, overnight. I mean, and then wake up in the morning to buy tickets, to be、oh. first in line to buy tickets. This is before you could buy things on the internet very easily. So we used to do that. And actually, a few years ago, I flew from Taiwan back to Canada to see a concert. Oh wow! By a band that I like, but I will add that it was also two days after my birthday. Okay. And there was another thing going on in that same city at the same time. So, so I kind of did. Just for I kind of did three things I wanted to do.、Okay. But you know, when I told people that, you know, where did you come from? Oh, I came from Taiwan. What? You came all the way from there to see this concert? Yeah. It sounded a little extreme. That's how I, you get to、say. meet the band. They're like, this guy came across the world. You know, who traveled farthest to this show? It would be me. But you know, I had other reasons to do it, and it wouldn't be something I would do. I wouldn't follow the group around the world. Right. I just went back to my hometown for a holiday at that time. And as we'll、know. find out in part two, there are good and bad sides to being fans. So、hmm. let's get into it. Yeah, I never went to their house and knocked on the door. <laughs> On the good side, extreme fans help spread information about their idols. They share their idols' choices of actions and goods. As a result, fans will do those things and support those companies. All right. So yes, extreme fans. On the internet, and this is kind of where they can get a little more extreme. Yes, it's so、internet. easy to connect with other people、mm. that like the same things you like. So it ends up being, a, a, we say, an echo chamber where you、yeah. just keep hearing the same thing, right? The same opinions. You、an、don't hear anything else. An echo chamber or a bubble. Yes. Sometimes people talk about that, right? So what is extreme to normal people inside this echo chamber or this fan bubble isn't so extreme. Right.、Yeah. So the article starts on the good side.、Mm -hmm. Extreme fans help spread information about their idols. Sure. They、Absolutely. share their idols' choices of actions and goods. Oh, okay. And I mean, really, in a very basic way, without fans, these people wouldn't have a career, right?、That's、They、true. wouldn't make money. They wouldn't be doing concerts because no one would want to watch them. No one would want to listen to the music or or go and see the film. So, of course, it gives people a job. It creates, you know, opportunities for people. And the fans are also important in spreading news and information, and also spreading their passion. For this artist, when you spread something, you take it from one place and sort of extend it, make it reach other places. A simple thing to think of is when you have a piece of bread and you want to put jam on the bread, you put some jam in the middle and then you use a knife to kind of push it to the outer side so that you cover a larger area. You have spread that jam across the top of your bread, and in the same way, we can spread information or we can spread our love or passion for a group. I tell Kim, she tells her friends, they tell other people. Someone writes about it or sees it on the news, and the information then goes to more and more people. It covers a wider area, or it spreads. Right. We also have this word here, choice.、Mm. A choice is when you have to decide between one or more things. So make a choice. Do you、mm. want pizza or pasta for dinner? 
Mm, maybe some pasta. Okay. Yeah. So you've made a good choice. I would also choose that. Okay. So a choice is just the thing that you pick when you have many things to decide from. Exactly, and we call that to choose, right?、Yes. The verb would be choose, and what you are choosing is your choice, and you might have several choices. Now back to the article. So a good thing about extreme fans, it says, as a result of these fans sort of spreading their love for their、uh, their favorite artist, as a result, fans will do those things and support. Those companies, right? Absolutely, as we said, because of the fans spending their money, buying the thing, watching the thing, going to the concert, whatever, people have jobs, companies make money, and this can, you know, show business can kind of continue. And of course, that's a good thing, and of, you know, the fans get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Right, it's not、yeah. just being the fan. You like the music; it makes you feel happy. You enjoy the movies; they entertain you, or make you cry, or make you feel things, and that's the good thing about about art. But it can go a little too far, and we're going to get into the、uh, bad side or the dark side of an extreme fan after the break. <laughs> On the bad side, extreme fans can't accept different views of their idols. They will fight anyone with those views. They may take even more extreme measures, such as bullying people and boycotting companies. At times, that can be a problem. Hopefully, people and fans can work together to create a healthy internet environment for all. All right, we're back, and we talked about the good side、mm. of extreme fans. Like I know some actors will have、mm -hmm. charities that they promote,、right. and their fans feel good donating to these charities, knowing、mm. that someone's getting money, and also the actor is like happy because people are supporting them. That's a good point. Yeah. But we're going to get into the bad side.、Mm. So it says <laughs> on the bad side, extreme fans can't accept different views of their idols. They will fight. Anyone with those views? Yeah, maybe not fight them like physically by punching and hitting, but they will argue with those people on the internet and get very angry if you know I say I don't like the music of this person. What do you mean? You're a jerk. I don't like you. I want you to die. You know, it can get a little bit too much, a little bit ugly, and also a little bit scary. I, I think it's partly because. The, the the being a fan becomes part of your personality. Right. It becomes kind of who you are. I mean, we see the same thing with sports team fans, right? Someone says, "I don't like the New York Yankees." What do you mean? They're the best team around, and you know, people it can get a little bit too tied up in just who you are. Being a fan becomes who you are. So if anyone attacks that person or group that you're a fan of, it's like they're attacking you, and you can't accept other people's points of view. When you accept something, you kind of take it and you say, "Okay, I will take this thing. I will make it part of me. I will, you know, take it from you. If it's a gift, that's a nice thing to accept, right? Someone wants to give you a present because it's your birthday. It would be rude to not accept it and say, 'No, I don't want that.' Even if it's something you're not interested in, or maybe." Maybe you already have this thing. You should still accept it, right? If someone gives you a compliment and says you're really good at this, or I really like you because, the nice thing to do is say thank you. You know, very kind of you to say, and accept that, right? Sometimes though, if someone's giving us something we don't want or we don't agree with, then we might not be so happy to accept it, and we might do the opposite. We might reject it or say no, I don't want that. Right, and they can't accept different points of view、mm -hmm. about these people. So your view in this case、uh, is not when you're looking out the window and seeing the、What、beautiful, beautiful landscape. Not that kind of view.、Oh. The view is more like an opinion,、mm. the way that you think about something. So in my view, this guy is a great actor. In your view, he's terrible. It's just another way to say your opinion or how you think of something. Exactly. We often use those three words: a point of view. That is your opinion. So you might say, "What is your opinion on global warming?" or "What is your opinion on this?" or "What is your point of view on that?" It's the same kind of idea. What do you think? And what you think might be different from what other people. And generally, that's okay, right? We can still be friends with people if we have different opinions or points of view. 
but if you kind of become a bit extreme, you can't accept other points of view. And the article continues and says they, that's the extreme fans, they may take even more extreme measures, might go even further with the sort of crazy behavior, such as bullying people and boycotting companies, right? <laughs> if they find someone who doesn't like their favorite singer, they might attack those people on the internet and write mean things to them. Or if they find like maybe there was a company that used to do business with the singer and then the company stopped doing business with the singer, the fans might say, I'm not going to buy anything that company makes. I'm going to boycott that company. And to boycott, here we're using it as a verb, it can also be used as a noun, is basically to refuse to do something because of your opinion, because you think this is the right thing to do. For example, if there are political troubles between a couple of countries, you might say, well, that country doesn't like my country, so I'm not going to buy anything from that country. I'm not going to go to that country. You know, I'm just not going to do anything that has any relationship to that country, not because I don't like it or because, you know, I think something is better from somewhere else because that country doesn't like me or, you know, doesn't like my, uh, my country. I have a different point of view, so I'm going to boycott that country and this is my idea. This is where I stand. Yeah, and often people will boycott companies or these companies' goods. And what is a company? It's a group of people that got together and formed uh, an association mm -hmm. so that they could sell something, market something. Uh, Apple is a company. Google is mm -hmm. a company. Big companies, yeah. Everything is a company if they came together to sell you something. So in this case, um, if iPhone you know, does a partnership with an actor and then they cancel it, sometimes people will say, I'm not going to buy anything from that company. No more Apple products at all. And then that they hope that this will hurt the company because the point of a company is mm -hmm. to make money. Right. And if you boycott that company, you are refusing to give them your money. And again, not because you think their phones are bad, right. but just because you think that they shouldn't be doing, they should be doing business with your favorite singer. And because they're not, they're a bad company. So you will boycott them. At times, the article says, that can be a problem. Yeah, when people make these decisions based on their emotions and not on just what is the right thing to do, it can be a problem. It says, hopefully people and fans can work together to create a healthy internet environment for all. Absolutely. I've seen this kind of thing. I think there were some, uh, some of those Korean singers and they were getting all these gifts from people mm -hmm. and they knew their fans were spending lots of money buying them expensive things. And also, I mean, the singer has to hire a staff to open to all these packages, it, yeah. you know, so it takes a lot of time and energy. So I think they were asking the fans, instead of buying us things, use that money to give to a charity. Yes, that would be better. You know, that would be a good thing to do. So hopefully more of these extreme fans will find healthier, more positive ways to show their love for their favorite singer or whoever and not do some of these more extreme behaviors. This is what we hope and that's why we use the adverb hopefully. This is an adverb we use when we talk about our hopes, what we hope will happen, what we wish will happen. We can't control this type of thing generally, maybe in a small way, but a lot of it might be luck. So it's kind of like a prayer or a wish. You might say there's, you know, we have to go to the beach. We want to go to the beach tomorrow, so hopefully it won't rain. This is what you hope. All right, and we hope you guys had a good time and hopefully yes. your fan, your, your, your fandom for something doesn't become too extreme and stays nice and healthy and positive and fun and happy. We'll see you very soon. Until then, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. On the good side, extreme fans help spread information about their idols. They share their idols' choices of actions and goods. As a result, fans will do those things and support those companies. On the bad side, extreme fans can't accept different views of their idols. They will fight anyone with those views. They may take even more extreme measures such as bullying people and boycotting companies. At times, that can be a problem. Hopefully, people and fans can work together to create a healthy internet environment for all. Hi, 
大家好，我是 Stephanie。那我们今天从单字开始来看，第一个呢是 spread， 动词，散布、传播。它的三态呢是 spread， 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 三个都一样，可以用在散播谣言、传递消息。比如说 ，Can you spread the news of the party？ 你能帮我散播派对的消息吗？或者是病毒的扩散传染也是 spread 这个动词哦，像是 How does COVID-19 spread？ 新冠肺炎是怎么扩散的？第二个单字呢是 choice， 名词，选择。We face good and evil choices every day。我们每天都面临小天使和小恶魔的选择。第三个单字呢是 accept， 动词，接受。The restaurant only accepts cash， 餐厅只收现金。那最后一个单字呢是 company 名词公司。Helena started her own company at a young age. Helena 很年轻的时候就创办了自己的公司。那我们今天的第一个文法重点呢是 on the good side， 或者是 on the bad side， 好的方面，坏的方面。在这边呢 ，side 是指方面的意思。On the good side, having a car is convenient. On the bad side, it's hard to find a parking space. 从好的方面来说，有车很方便。不好的一面呢，是很难找停车位。第二个重点呢是 as a result， 结果，因此，这是一个固定的用法。那这个片语呢，它用来表现因果关系。Result， 它就是结果的意思。Frank didn't bring an umbrella with him. As a result, he got all wet. Frank 没有带雨伞，结果他全身都被淋湿了。除此之外呢 ，therefore, accordingly， 或是 as a consequence， 都是因此的意思。那最后一个重点呢是 take measures， 采取措施。Measure 在这里呢是名词，指的是措施、方法、手段。它作为这个意思的时候呢，就会惯用复数，所以我们要记得加一个 s。像是最近新闻说日本冬季供电量有可能会不足，所以日本政府就要采取限电的措施。那我们可以怎么说这个状况呢 ？The government of Japan will take measures to save electricity. 日本政府将采取措施节约用电。好，那我们的讲解就到这里。See you. Hey everyone, it's Nina and I'm Sam, and today we'll be playing the game Guess the Bear. And in this game, we each have three cards with words on them, and with each word, we have two sentences. But we will replace the word with the word bear, and we each have one minute to answer to guess. Okay. All right. Do you want to go first? Yes, I will go first. You read first, or you want to guess first? I'll guess first. Okay. All right then. <laughs> Here we go. It. One minute on the clock. Go. First word. It is a noun. Number one. The CEO is the head of a bear. Two. The bear is looking for new employees. Company. Good.、Yes. Next one. It is a verb. The first sentence is: We should bear everyone for who they are. Two. Please bear this token of thanks from the company. Accept. Good. All right. And the last one. It is a two-word phrase. The first sentence is: We need to bear bear to stop the river from overflowing again. Number two, the class bared bear to encourage recycling. What <laughs> again, please? <laughs> okay, two word phrase. The first one: We need to bear bear to stop the river from overflowing again. And number two, the class bared bear to encourage recycling. Bear bear. Five、uh, seconds. What?、Uh. Yeah, I'm not getting it. <laughs> okay. What is it? That one was hard. That one was take measures. Ah.、Oh, yes.、Yeah. So the first、okay. sentence was, we need to take measures to stop the river from overflowing、mm-hmm. again. And number two was, the class took measures to encourage recycling. <sighs> yeah.、Earned. Tough one. Yeah, it was. All right, All right, your turn. Are you ready? Yes. And go. The first one is ver is a verb.、Uh, Robin bears the butter evenly on the toast. We should do our part to help prevent bearing the disease. Spread easy. All right. Next one is a noun. There are two bears of color for this phone. Please make a bear about your room as soon as possible. Uh, two types of colors, shades of colors. Uh, uh the second sentence one more time. 
Please make a bear about your room as soon as possible. Uh, okay, skip. Skip. Come okay. back to that one. The next one. Uh, three word phrase. The star player had an injury. Bear, bear, bear. The team lost. <laughs> the, <laughs> number two. We took the dog to the vet. Bear, bear, bear. He got better. As a result. Yes. All right. Now the next, the second one again is a noun. There are two bears of color for this phone. Please make a bear about your room as soon as possible. Shades? No. What? The answer is choice. Oh, two choices choice. of color. Yes. Oh, so, then, wait, please make a choice about your room? I guess you oh. need to choose a room in the yes, hotel. Oh, so yeah. the first one is there are two choices of color for this phone and the second one is please make a choice about your room as soon as possible oh like a hotel that yeah, actually makes more so. sense yeah okay. oh. there's always one you know yeah. two of them are like okay and then there's always one some sentences can't. are really hard to like see you next time